Hi everyone and welcome again to Friday with Flinders. What we have for you today is Calvin Bowman's Curly Pyjama Letters, which we first performed in 2012 and it's a piece that has certainly won a permanent place in our repertoire. Uh, Calvin wrote this piece using Michael Lunig's Curly Pyjama Letters and he created this musical backdrop to underscore the dialogue, but it's more than a backdrop. What Calvin does is he finds added emotion and meaning in the words throughout this beautiful music that we, that you're going to hear today. And actually in listening back to it, it's it's got even more poignancy than it ever had before. I'm sure that we're going to play this piece again live, but until then, here is our performance from the Hawthorne Art Centre. Thank you to Calvin Bowman. Thank you to Richard Gubbins who commissioned this piece. Thank you to Michael Lunig and thank you to the inimitable Chris Moore. Thank you all for listening and we'll see you next Friday. Dear Vasco, the rose plants have just this day been made available at the Curly Flat Rose Farm. As usual, a small ensemble from the Academy of Ancient Music played a selection of old airs and dances in celebration. I purchased two roses for my collection, Baby's Bottom and Grandmother's Kiss. Like all roses from the farm, the origins of these two plants are unknown. They are old mystery roses. And of course, the ensemble only played music of unknown authorship, probably composed by birds in the dawn of history. Baby's Bottom, as you might imagine, has a plump, rounded flower with pink petals of the most delicate texture and colour. The perfume is delightfully reminiscent of a baby's breath. Grandmother's Kiss has a large, blousy, crinkled flower with an abundance of big, loose petals of deep crimson. It has a distinct handbag fragrance, which comes in great volumes and alters markedly as the day progresses. The evening aroma is quite different to the aroma of the morning. How arresting is the credential unknown origin? How deep and rich it seems, how vibrant and free and magical, like a talisman seems that creature, that plant or that thing of unknown origin. Enjoy the sea of madness, Vasco. It is the wildest of the seven seas, certainly, but the most wondrous sailing can be had there. Above you is the sky of gladness. All so full of ancient music. And baby's breath and birds, and the perfume of roses. Good health, Vasco. Yours faithfully, Mr. Curly. Dear Vasco, just a quick note from Curly Flat to let you know the result of this year's Ceremony of the Butterfly's Choice. After much drama and nervous deliberation on the part of the insect and much gasping from the crowd, the butterfly finally settled on the lavender. This, of course, will be of consequence in the conduct of courtships, funerals, the teaching of songs to children and a host of other ordinary daily matters. 
The last time we had a lavender many chickens came home to roost, and I would welcome that were it to happen again. It was a very good year. I must fly. Yours sincerely, Mr. Curly. for quite some time. I suppose because there has been very little to report. My journey appears to have developed into a process of steady plodding, which I rather like. When you plot, everything seems to take forever. And forever is a lovely thing once you stop being scared of it. Strange how something that takes a lot of time can give the feeling that there is a lot of time and a lot of space and a good measure of ease. So, onward I plod through beautiful things and terrible things, too numerous to mention. With my duck ahead of me, and my gargling angel to protect me from above. I am well, and I hope you are too. Best wishes. Yours truly, Vasco Pajama. P.S. Is it gargling angel or guardian angel? Somebody once suggested to me that it should be guardian, but I grew up believing it was gargling. My gargling angel. And that's how I think of it. Oh well, whatever. It seems to care for me. Dear Mr. Curly, it's springtime where I am at present. The sun is shining and the birds are singing beautifully. Life is a miracle. There are so many astonishing and wonderful things to talk about. I'll write again soon. Lots of warm wishes. Vasco. P.S. A great thing has happened. I've fallen in love. season has come to Curly Flat.
and there is much whirling and twirling. Wish you were here. Love, Mr. Curly. Dear Vasco, I've composed a little poem for you in honor of spring. It's a tongue twister called Friends Like Fronds. I'm fond of friends like fronds, I am quite friendly, I would say. Friends behave like fronds, and fronds like friends in every way. I hope you like it. Yours friendly, Mr. Curly. The days are becoming shorter. And certain birds have already departed. In the forest yesterday evening, I came upon a child crouched over a tiny grave and placing flowers carefully around the little cross made of twigs. I learned from the child that it was a bird's grave, and when I asked what kind of bird the child, after a long pause, simply replied, a small brown bird. I left the child to its devotions and passed into a darker part of the forest with all its grandeur and peace and was there filled suddenly with a great grief and also a great tender joy and gladness for what I had just seen. Then, a little tearfully, I lay down on the forest floor to contemplate the divinity of children and small brown birds, and so doing, I fell into a deep and blissful sleep on a bed of ferns. How I love the forest, Vasco, with all its, how radiant is the autumn, with all its dying and going to sleep. Warm wishes to yourself and the duck. Mr. Curly. P.S. Such tears and such sleeps are very good for the complexion, so I'm told.